It's Nam, baby! We're with Tal. We're Yay. on the Dunlop stand, Dunlop MXR. I don't know if we'll see him again, but we've just had some fine stories from Jimmy Dunlop himself. Oh man, what a legend. Um, but Tal, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you like to tell us what's new and exciting in the world of Dunlop and MXR? Yes, I would. <laughs> Let me hold this here. Look that way. <laughs> oh, yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I would love that very much. Thank you so much. Right. So, uh, new and exciting for 2024 is primarily the Joshua Ambient Echo. Yes. And it's uh, my favorite new delay. It uh, essentially is an entire rack of effects from the 1980s stuffed into a, a package the size of a deck of cards. <laughs> and uh, it's been pre-voiced. It's a tone recipe of uh, ambient sounds made famous by U2, uh, Andy Summers from The Police, Daniel Lenoir, uh, all sorts of this type of uh, musical approach. And in order to make these types of sounds, you have to have a certain amount of gear in a certain order with the certain settings. So we've done all that for you. Nice. So you can get into this zone immediately without having to you know, figure out all the delay times and figuring out the compression settings and everything else because it's all been put in this one box. It's a dual delay and it's multi-tapped so you can have two different sets of uh, rhythmic subdivisions happening simultaneously in mono or in stereo nice. or in what I call wet dry dual mono where you have the affected signal with two delays and mm. then your dry signal. Yeah. And it also has tap tempo and infinite repeat. Nice. Are you Infinite. just running this? You're just running this into the front of the amplifier yeah, as well. So Old school. Yes, exactly. Properly, like it should be. Yeah, we're not running any uh, effects loops because it's assumed you're going to go into a, a Fender Deluxe or an AC30 or something like that. You're getting the shimmer from the, the pedal as well. Then? Yes, all... exactly. So uh, the feature set of the pedal is it has uh, modulation, which is in stereo. It has three synth octave voices that are. Mm. Poly uh, polyphonic and it also has um, the ability to uh, change the ratio of, of delay to reverb as well as compression. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. Let's it's hear a lot. it. Let's yes. hear it. So right now what we're doing is uh, I have an infinite cold setting so because I love the path <laughs> that it can do. via um, expression pedal. So if you plug in a tap, uh, a momentary tap tempo switch. Have you got this uh, Gra uh, Gran Torino on at the same time, or is it is that? Oh, that's not on purpose. Oh, okay. That's what, <laughs> what, what even is that? The Gran Torino is a, oh, a little boost. Yeah, yeah it's a okay, boost. Okay, fine. So it's just giving us some girth. But the main feature is these different tap tempos. So right now, what I have is a uh, a dotted eighth, and the second echo is on quarter note, right? So you get two echoes in one. Oh, you're, you're 
to heaven with that song. I, only I because I, I am that generation that that album came out when I was about 15. And yeah. so it's just like, just brilliant, brilliant album. It's a tone album. recipe. You used, to, you used to have to have, you know, do all this research to get this sound, you know? Yeah. So what else we got on here as well? It's, um... We have the new Geisha Drive from uh, Way Huge. Oh, so this is a, one of George's uh, yeah. new... Well, they've done the Geisha before though, haven't they? So what's different about the This is one? the Geisha Small. Oh, oh, that's right, it was big. That's right, it was big It was before. big. Yes. And now it's It's small. a small Geisha. See? Yes. But it equally, it packs the same amount of punch. My favorite thing about this pedal is its dynamic response. The best thing about Nam is stealing all the chords from the demonstrators. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I can play entire nice. gigs with just this one sound. And is the something like the Grand Torino something you would use to go into something like the Geisha yeah, to sort of give it some well, extra? Well, I would use the Grand Torino in front of a, uh, an amp that's just about to distort. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I can marry the dynamic range of the pedal to the dynamic range of the yeah. input of the amp. Yeah. You know, because that's my favorite spot. Um, but in order to hear it well, I'd have to turn this amp up way too loud, and I'd get shut down and everything. Fair enough. But well, we'll do we'll do that. I think when we get home. I can really dial in. Dial in. It's one of my favorite cars as well. It's meant to be. just love a little bit of exactly. something, don't they? Yeah, yes. What's your day job then when you're not demonstrating at uh, Dunlop? Are you... I'm a music producer, I'm an educator, I'm a freelance guitarist. A lot of people decide, I want that guy. Yeah, I like the chords. They call me up yes. and they say, hey man, you want to do this? And I go, I like the chords. I'm going to literally, so can people find you at Tal Morris or something like that? There's your chance to shout out your Instagram handle oh, or whatever you want to do. Tal Morris, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I do gear demos. George Trips is my best friend. Oh, George is lovely. Oh, and, uh, we love George. Yeah, oh, look, that's great. Fun. I mean, do you want to tell me about this the... Is, um, so well, the yeah, ISO brick yes. uh, is, a, is a game Finally, changer right? for me. Yes. Finally, MXR. And I've been begging them for this for many, many years, and it yeah. happened. And the first time I took it out, I went to directly to a club where I had all these nightmare problems with sound because of uh, ground loops and lights yeah, yeah. and everything. And this completely isolates my electricity from theirs. Yeah. And that's just an incredible thing. And if one pedal is having an issue, it's not going to be talking to the next pedal and yeah. transferring that same issue. Yeah. And um, it has an IEC output cable. Yay! No wall wart. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's I mean, just... I, look, I know this is the MXR demo, but it is about time, isn't it? Right. Like it is everyone, exactly. Everyone yeah, else yeah. has done Catch this. Catch up. I it's know. Like, yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. A, what kind of uh, draw will it power? As in well, how, how many milliamps so, and all that kind of malarkey? Yeah, so you have, uh, uh, I believe, 10 outputs. Many of them are switched, two of them are Switchable. switchable. Yeah. And you can go from a normal 100 milliamp uh, uh, pedal situation all the way up to an, uh, a Lily, uh, uh, the Line 6 HX Stomp oh, wow. series. Was that 650 or something like yeah, that? It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll, it's higher than that. Is it? It's like two something. So, wow, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, and also, the cool thing is, it has another output where you can daisy chain these together. Yeah, so so you one, so one IEC cable, but yeah. you can then run multiple. Exactly. Right, so okay. right now we're da we're daisy chasing, daisy chaining the uh, mini. Easy for you to say. 
Mini ISO brick. And this is the one I've been saying to them for so long. Yeah. Do something that size to stick under the smallest pedal. Yeah, board. yeah. Look at that. That's very cool. What about the um, rotor vibe? Because it, you know, again, so on, a, on a these are these pedals sacks, here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. These are reissue. Uh, 20th anniversary reissues of the Zach Wild series. So there's nothing new about them electronically. Right. It's just a new aesthetic. I, I never realized that. And it the marries right. with the wild audio because Zach is now yeah. moving into. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, ne I never realized the Rotor Vibe was part of the Zach Wild thing. Yeah. The thing about the, Z <laughs> the Zach Wah pedal is it's it's uh, voiced very low in the spectrum. Yeah. So that's as high as it goes. Yeah. And of course, it's meant for an amp that's got incredible amounts of gain, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. Well. And I toured a lot with this overdrive. Did you? Going into Marshalls back in the day. And it's flawless when the amp is already distorted. To me, it's one of the best pedals ever made uh, working with a pre distorted tone and boosting it. Way more to me, like the be all end all for most is the tube screamer yeah, yeah. going into a Marshall yeah. because it gives you that mid range peak. You poke out, right? But there's something missing in the dynamics for me. And uh, this one definitely, I mean, Zach was very specific about how it's supposed to go. Yeah. It works really well. Please enjoy our NAMM show coverage. Uh, one down, 75 to go. Yeah. Cheers, Tal. <laughs>